Mama June trying to make money from the unfortunate hurricane tragedy. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Mama June can do anything and everything to earn a few bucks. But this time, she crossed all the limits by using a hurricane tragedy as her source of income. Fans were in disbelief when they saw her taking advantage of their unfortunate incident to make money. Several viewers admitted that Shannon was rightly accused of being a grifter and slammed her for her selfish move. Is this true? Did June really use a hurricane to earn? What is she up to now? Keep on reading to learn why fans are calling Shannon out and what she did. Fans accuse Mama June of being a grifter. Why? Mama June and her weird antics have raised eyebrows several times. She has tried to disguise her audience several times while never leaving a chance to earn. Hence, there have been uncountable instances when the celeb has been accused of being a grifter and hoarder because of the way she was trying to hoard money from her audience. Regular watchers might remember how she used Anna's death to fill her account. Shannon was selling products related to Anna and even encashed the latter's death. Cardwell's cancer journey became part of her family show and surely boosted the ratings. Several viewers even questioned June's intentions of taking Caitlin's custody. They are sure that she wants to earn through the star kid by bringing her into the reality TV realm. But that's not the shocking part. To know what June recently did, keep on reading. Mama June used a hurricane tragedy to earn from it. But how? Hurricane Helene has been making it to the headlines all over the states. It has killed almost 120 people, and many states have been affected because of it. Hence, people all over the world are praying for the residents of America. But Mama June took this as an opportunity to earn some extra bucks and made a social media post that didn't really sit well with her audience. A Reddit thread recently started with Shannon's post on Facebook in which she guided her viewers on how they could get $1,200 from FEMA. She claimed that if the power cut was for more than 24 hours, her audience could get this noted amount. Several viewers took to the comment section and claimed that this was fake. They even wondered if this money was directly going into Shannon's pocket. A user wrote, grifting as per usual. The OP further stated that this was June's typical behavior, and there was nothing new in it. Moreover, because of her, people would be flooding the Fime call line and would end up with nothing. A fan even wondered how Shannon could even think of getting money and hoarding more funds when several citizens were dying and others' lives were at stake. A viewer even claimed that Jew could go behind bars because of such antics. The user wrote, Grifter, wonder when Section 8, Boadoi C, Medicaid pumpkin will be caught. Hence, if things go the wrong way, there is a fair chance that Shannon will end up behind bars. Keep coming back to the TV season and spoilers for more updates. Miriam Faisal Mateen My name is Miriam Faisal Mateen and I am a soul of the ancient world trapped in this modern society. My passion is to express my emotions and opinions with my pen and brush, because these two act as a last resort when words fail. I am a person who loves to read between the lines and live in a world that I have written and painted for myself. So, I am not sure that I really exist. I am a patchwork of all the writers that I have read and all the people that I have met. This comes with a pinch of central perk and Hogwarts in me. Yes, I'm a mosaic of all. The skies over the Gulf Coast had never been more ominous. A hurricane, so powerful that meteorologists were in disbelief, was brewing. A state of emergency had been declared, and communities were preparing for the worst. People boarded up their homes, stacked supplies, and prayed for safety. But amidst the chaos and uncertainty, Another kind of storm was brewing, one that was being orchestrated not by nature, but by someone whose life had already been a whirlwind of ups and downs, public scandals, and financial woes, Mama June Shannon. Mama June, 
once known as the larger-than-life matriarch of the Shan family, on the hit reality show Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, had been in the public eye for over a decade. Fans had watched her rise to fame, stumble through controversy, and claw her way back, all while navigating complex personal challenges. But in the face of the incoming hurricane, it seemed that Mama June was cooking up a new plan, one that many would find ethically questionable at best. As the storm approached and the nation's attention turned toward the impending disaster, rumors began to swirl. Social media was abuzz with Just speculation before the Mama hurricane June. was set to make landfall. Mama June had been in the midst of another personal crisis. Her ongoing battles with addiction, legal troubles, and her strained relationship with her family had left her in financial ruin. After the cancellation of her reality shows and the costly consequences of her lifestyle choices, June was desperate to find a way to maintain her relevance and her income. June's most loyal fans knew that she had never been one to shy away from controversy. Her ability to bounce back from scandal after scandal had always been part of her appeal. But this time, the stakes were higher. With the public's sympathy running thin and her finances in dire straits, Jute knew she needed something big to get back on her feet. It was during a phone call with her manager that the seed of her next big idea was planted. We need to find a way to capitalize on this, her manager had said, referring to the growing media attention around the hurricane. People are going to be glued to their TVs, their phones, watching, waiting. You need to get in front of this. Mama June had always had a knack for turning adversity into opportunity, and the gears in her head began to turn. As the storm approached, so did her plan. In the days leading up to the hurricane, June kept a low profile, but she was far from idle. Behind the scenes, she was working tirelessly to put together a new project, one that would allow her to leverage the incoming disaster for financial gain. June's idea was simple on the surface, but its implications were far more complex. She planned to launch a series of hurricane relief merchandise, with everything from t-shirts and hats to water bottles and emergency supplies. The items would be branded with her image, along with catchy slogans like Mama June's Storm Survival Gear and Honey Boo Boo's Hurricane Hustle. The marketing plan was bold, and it had all the elements of a successful campaign. June would capitalize on the sympathy surrounding the hurricane while positioning herself as a figure of resilience. In her mind, she was offering a product that people needed during a difficult time. After all, everyone needed supplies to get through a storm, and why not buy them from someone they knew and loved from TV? But the problem wasn't with the merchandise itself, it was with the timing and the way she planned to sell it. The hurricane hadn't even made landfall yet, and June's team was already preparing to roll out the products online, with limited edition items priced at a premium. To many, it seemed like a blatant attempt to profit from a natural disaster, and the backlash was swift. As news of Mama June's latest venture spread, social media erupted. Fans and critics alike took to Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to express their outrage. How low can you go, at Mama June underscore boo boo? Profiting off a hurricane? Really? Hashtag shame on you, one tweet read, racking up thousands of likes and retweets. Mama June has officially hit rock bottom, another commenter posted on Instagram. First the drug scandals, now this, I'm done. Even some of June's most diehard supporters found themselves questioning her motives. They had stood by her through thick and thin, but this time, they weren't sure if they could defend her actions. The criticism wasn't just limited to social media. News outlets picked up the story, with headlines like Mama June accused of exploiting hurricane tragedy for personal gain, dominating entertainment websites and tabloids. In a matter of hours, Mama June went from being a reality TV personality with a complicated past to being labeled as a villain who was willing to exploit a national tragedy for a quick buck. It seemed like the storm wasn't just coming for the Gulf Coast, it was coming for June's reputation as well. 
As the backlash reached a fever pitch, June knew she needed to act quickly to salvage what was left of her public image. In a carefully crafted statement released to the press, she attempted to explain her side of the story. My heart goes out to everyone who's been affected by this terrible storm, the statement read. I've been through my own share of hardships, and I know how important it is to come together as a community in times like this. My intention with the merchandise was never to profit from the tragedy, but to provide people with much-needed supplies while also giving back to the relief efforts. A portion of the proceeds will be donated to hurricane relief organizations. The statement was an attempt to deflect criticism and position June as someone who was simply misunderstood. But for many, it felt like too little, too late. The damage had already been done, and the public wasn't buying it, literally or figuratively. Sales of the merchandise were abysmal, and the online store that June had hoped would generate a quick windfall became a financial disaster in its own right. To make matters worse.